We're Sid and Mackie, and since 2014, we've been racing mountain bikes professionally and traveling in our van. In fact, for most of those years, we were living full-time in the van, traveling the U.S., and finding new campsites every night. However, 2020 changed everything. Due to my injury and the COVID pandemic, we moved back in with family. It was supposed to be temporary, but fast forward 18 months. We're still here. Earlier this year, we made the decision to start looking to buy a house to build our very own home base. However, this process ended up being so much more challenging than we could ever have imagined. It's been a journey, and we're ready for this journey to be over and to have a home. We can't afford to buy a house in cash. So frustrating. Yeah. Like, this is just really insane. People are completely insane. life has always been means to an end for us, and we've been dreaming of our future home base for years. For a long time, we thought we'd buy some acreage out in the middle of nowhere New Mexico and build a house and, of course, our own bike park. However, over the past few years, we've realized that maybe that isn't what we want. We want to be able to ride from our home, yes, but we also want the benefits that come from living in a small town and in an area with an active bike community. After spending time in places like Bentonville, Arkansas and Sun Valley, Idaho, we saw the value of living somewhere that has bike-friendly infrastructure that goes beyond just trails. And so we started looking for places in northern New Mexico where we could ride bikes out our front door. Eventually, we settled on Los Alamos, New Mexico, a small town in the Jemez Mountains west of Santa Fe. Los Alamos is home to our all-time favorite bike park, Pajarito, as well as a large network of in-town trails. And some of our best days on the bike ever have been here. We also hoped that because Los Alamos is less of a second home community than Santa Fe or Taos, the real estate market might be a little less insane. Turns out we were wrong. Well, apparently third time was not the charm. <laughs> We did not get the third house. I think this was my, like, this is definitely the one I'm the most upset about so far, I think. Yeah, I was pretty excited about this house. It was really cool. Needed a lot of work, but like, we knew we could do it. And mm -hmm. we were like, excited for that. God, but I'm getting upset. Like, it's, okay. it's very it's okay. much a first world problem, but like, someone came in and offered $120,000 over the listing price. In cash. In cash. And like, we put in a really competitive offer. Like, we offered way over list price. Not that far, obviously. Um, but like... Ours is a really good offer. We had a good offer. Like, we could afford this house. We could afford to pay over list price. We could afford to put in an offer that's competitive in this market. And like, I'm so thankful that we're able to do that. But like, we're not... We can't afford to buy a house in cash. And like... I don't know, it's just starting to look like that's the only way we're going to find something. It's just so frustrating. Yeah. Like, this is just really insane. People are completely insane. Like, that house was not worth <laughs> what they paid for it. So this was our third time putting in a bid on a house in Los Alamos. The first one, we found out later that we basically missed because they... The person who got it offered to waive the appraisal gap, meaning that like it didn't matter what it appraised for, they would pay the difference. The second one, we did waive the appraisal gap because apparently that's what you have to do in this market. And we got beat by like fifteen or twenty thousand dollars. So like a significant amount. And then this one, we were like, we really want this house. We're gonna put in a really strong offer. Our real estate agent, Teddy Sue. It was awesome. She was like, this is a really strong offer. She like, she was like, I think you guys will get this house. It's a really strong offer. And the person came in or somebody came in and offered cash and blew our offer away. There's just no competing with that. Okay, here we go. Four times the charm. 
or five, depending on how you count. <laughs> yeah. um, this one is not on the market officially, which is really Excellent. helpful because you know that that hasn't been going so well for us. <laughs> We're hoping that maybe we can kind of take a roundabout route to getting a home here, not the whole real estate agent bidding war bologna sandwich that we've been doing. That's been no fun whatsoever. We've seen zero pictures of the inside. We've seen Street View and Satellite. We like the location. We like the size and amount of bedrooms, etc. obviously. Otherwise we wouldn't be um, coming up to look at it. But because it's not on the market and this is a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend. Husband. It's husband <laughs> who owns this house. Um, we don't know anything about it. So flying blind happened to that garage. You see that? It's like no. a sinkhole. Okay. <laughs> good start. Good start. That's not our house, so it's all right. I'm going to turn this off. We're going to go look at it. Party. We are so excited to hear this wonderful news, Mackie. I'm um, so happy to that you guys that are feeling that way and, and so happy. We're, we're really happy that you're you're interested. He's going to come tomorrow morning, and we just are going to leave a key for him to come in and do the appraisal. Not okay. appraisal, Mark and I'll. Yep, yep. We'll let you know as soon as we hear from him, and um, and we will make sure that it all. I, I have a feeling it's going to work out. That's awesome. That sounds perfect. Yeah. Oh man, I really Do hope it works. Do we just buy a house? I mean, no. Well, not sorry. Actually. I mean, it's really cool because they seem willing to work with us, yes. which is awesome. And, you know, they're gonna do the market analysis and hopefully it will be something that we can afford yeah. and that they are interested in and like we can make it happen and yeah, yeah. man. Hi Mackie, it's Lisa calling. Um, so I ta we talked to Ian and he said that he thinks the highest that the appraisal would come back at this point would be because of the unfinished downstairs would be f We talked, we love you guys. We're so happy you're excited about the house. We would be willing to offer it for f So please let us know if you want to move forward. We're gonna buy a house. It does feel a little bit, I think, um, like fate. That was what I was gonna say. And then I was like <laughs> pulling the reins. And it feels like, we didn't get those other houses for a reason because this one was waiting for us. This is going to be an incredible opportunity. It is a fixer upper, um, but that basically means it came in like way under our projected budget, which is really exciting. It's very livable. It's totally. not, there's nothing wrong with the house. We hope we're waiting on the inspection, <laughs> but like not assuming the inspection comes back fairly clean structurally, we can live there and then do the work while we're living. Right. A lot of people aren't, I think, I feel like you're not okay with living in a place while they're renovating. Totally. Yeah. Whereas we're like, well, if we tear up this carpet, we'll just like have plywood floors for a few months and that's fine. <laughs> Roughing it is something we're okay with. And I think this is going to be like, roughing it a little bit while we build things out, but like with a really dope garage. So, yeah. <laughs> and heat and water. And plumbing. And plumbing. We need to get an appraisal so that we can get the mortgage. It's gonna take probably like six weeks. That's what everyone's been telling us. We have six weeks to like fantasize about all the renovations that we're gonna do. So, that's exciting. And we're gonna be on the road anyway. We are gonna own a house in like, Two and a half days, three In sleeps. two and a half days, wow. barring any major catastrophe. Yeah. There is some room for major catastrophe because we have to drive a thousand miles. Three and a half hours. Let's see, how far is it? A 23 hour drive. Yeah. 1,567 miles. So it's currently the Sunday after Thanksgiving. We came to Ohio for Thanksgiving. It was just all a little rushed. So we wanted to be able to be here with my family for at least a week. So we decided to leave like you do. Two days before. At essentially the last possible minute. So we've been here in Ohio, essentially scavenging my parents' house. I'm finally, finally taking responsibility for, okay, not quite all of my stuff that's in the closet in my childhood bedroom, but like- Some of it. <laughs> most of it. 
I don't know. Like, I feel like part of being an adult is storing your, your own, own st- And we've yeah. avoided that part of adulthood so far. But now that we will own a closet. First of all, we get a ton of really awesome stuff from my parents. Like, all the hardwood flooring scraps that they've been storing in their attic for way too long. We've got a box of leftover tiles. We are basically scavenging the things that we're going to need to renovate our house. As well as plates and bowls and all these things that all these adulty things that we didn't own before. So that's all good. And then uh, we have one box. This box over here is our sentimental items. This isn't supposed to be coming. This is a photo album that my mom got out to show me from when I was Captain Hook in the sixth grade play. This is me and my best friend Janie, who was Peter Pan. We got to have a sword fight. It was <laughs> the best thing ever. Here I am with the crocodile. <laughs> Basically, a lot of journals and things. I've tried to avoid owning things for most of my life, so I think that's not so bad. Plus, we might have one other bin like this. Two thing bins? Two thing bins and a little heck of a lot of bicycles. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how, that's our worldly possessions. But on Wednesday, we will own the house. Pre-trip van check, gotta make sure the oil looks good, coolant, brake fluid, steering fluid. All right, trip ready. Hey Google, take me home. Sure, home. Before we go a minute farther, we want to thank the sponsor of this video, Competitive Cyclists. Competitive Cyclists has been a huge supporter of our channel in 2021 and has been a part of many of the adventures that we have had this year. So it seems really appropriate that our last video of 2021 is sponsored by Competitive Cyclists. So today we wanted to share a few pieces that are available on Competitive Cyclists that we love. A big reason that we chose these pieces is that having lived in a van for a long time, we want to simplify the number of things that we have with us. We don't have a whole lot of space. Even though we're gonna have a house, we still want to keep that idea of like not having too many things all the time. Yeah. We so, learned a lot from living in a van and we don't wanna yeah, just abandon that. So when we buy things, we try to get things that are versatile and have multiple uses. For example, this jacket that Sid is wearing, it's comfortable, it looks nice. Uh, you can wear it out to dinner. You can wear it on a bike ride. You've probably seen me both do both of those things. <laughs> it's on true. The well, maybe not out to dinner. We don't really go out to dinner. Yeah, that's the <laughs> Another piece are the pants that I'm wearing. They're super comfortable, they're warm, they're a strong fabric. So especially for road tripping, I like being able to like hop out and do something on the van if I need to. But then they also look nice enough that I can go out and eat once again, which we never do. Go, go in eat. the grocery store and not look totally disgusting. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> we want to go in a grocery store and not look like we live in a van. And the last thing we want to talk about are these amazing sunglasses that we recently discovered that Mackie is going to model. This is the brand Gooder. It is available on Competitive Cyclists. It's very affordable for sunglasses that have good optics and come in amazing, fun colors. And these are riding glasses and he has worn them riding and driving as we're doing a lot of today. I think I'm gonna steal these glasses. Oh, that's harsh. But yeah. you can find all these pieces on Competitive Cyclist. And as always, use the code SIDMACKY15, all in caps, for 15% off your first order. Some exclusions apply. Everything is so crisp with these glasses. <laughs> yeah, especially those 15% savings. They're so crisp. So crisp. And so cool. All right, back to the video. Up. 
I was calling because I need to make a wire transfer. Thank you, YouTube. I guess we bought a house. Or at least we paid for a house. <laughs> Like a Mack truck, country heart. I'm a cup of farm and go act up. A lot of scars, I was cold hearted, now I'm back up. Keep it real, I do this once a month. I don't rap much. I just take the money and go stack up. Only buying car heart, car car to get tatted up. All that other bull. Oh, I'm just laughing because people drive like idiots and don't look ahead of them. Yes, this is a known fact. Like, we're all obviously in a line and people keep trying to merge over and then they're like, oh, there's another thing. It's like, well, <laughs> You don't think everyone would be merging over if we could? <laughs> like, were you not looking back there when we could see the things? No, they were not looking. Yeah. So, anyway. People drive like idiots, but we bought a house. I'm just doing me, everything is on me, oh, you matter what? Add it up. Told you if it's all me, everything is on me, go and back it up. No matter what? Told you I'm gonna do me, why you hating on me? It's not adding up. Add it up. Okay, it is. 5 p.m., which feels like 6 p.m. We're in Kansas City. How long have we been driving? Mm, we started at seven, fit, we're 11 hours. I think we're doing good. I mean, yeah. we just had, we had a couple stops for gas and, and such. And now we're at Chipotle, which as you guys know, is our go-to road stop. Usually we go. order on the app. We've talked about this before. We are not sponsored by Chipotle, except Today, we kind of are because <laughs> <laughs> one of our fans sent us some free Chipotle tickets. Which is amazing. After we talked about Chipotle in it's a previous true. video. So, shout out to Andy, who works for Chipotle Corporate. We're very excited for our free burritos. Heck yeah. Burrito bowl success. We got free walk. Free yeah, walk. buddy. Yum. <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. So when we pulled into this campsite last night, we did not even realize that there was a lake here because it was so dark. So it's pretty amazing to wake up in the morning to this. This is definitely gonna be something that I will miss about fan life. Just waking up somewhere that turns out to be so much prettier than you thought it was going to be. We have made it to Santa Fe. That was a haul. 22 hours, one more to go, but um, we are gonna stop for an early dinner at the pantry here in Santa Fe and eat more burritos, basically. <laughs> but, um, you know, New Mexican style now, because we're home. Okay, we just had an excellent meal. I had a, I forget what it was called, but it was a full plate of potatoes with eggs on top and green chili. So and welcome cheese. back to New Mexico. Yeah, and about a pound of cheese. We're gonna go camp in outside of Los Alamos and get up tomorrow morning and buy a house. Boom. But um, shout out to the pantry in Santa Fe. That was an excellent meal. It was extremely fast too. It was extremely fast. It was like ridiculously we, like, fast. Ordered it and, like I Five went minutes. and peed and came back and it was there. That was t too much information, but yeah. <laughs> Highly recommend if you need your green chili fix having just returned to New Mexico, like we did. My name is Sid, my favorite color is blue. <laughs> Notice that all the way down to your shoes. All the way down to my slippers. I have exciting news for you. Did it's you buy me a house? Closing day. <laughs> you bought me a house I for Christmas. I bought you a house. Yay. Surprise! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's been a long process in general. Yeah, and yeah. I'm really excited. 
I'm just hoping this doesn't die halfway and I end up with like patches. You'd have to wear a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Naki. Zero. It's okay, I'll charge the other one. Yeah. We signed all the papers. We both had this vision in our head, which on the reflection was a little unrealistic that we would sign and then we would go into the house at like 9.30, 10 this morning and have all day. Yeah, literally this is in my imagination. I don't know about for you, but in my imagination, Dean was gonna be here and we were gonna sit down together. We're all gonna sign together. We're, we're all gonna sign, sign, sign together. And then he was gonna hand us the keys and, and we were gonna go off on our merry way. Yeah, that was what I thought too. <laughs> Did I get that from like Hollywood or what? Cause that's not how it works. We're here. It's actually our house now. We do whatever we want. I'm gonna keep the camera on my face for a second because we don't want to show all of you our address. I mean, as much as we love. I think we'd be happy showing like 99% of you our address, but like, there's <laughs> always that 1%. Does the doorbell work, Jerkin? It does. Holy cow. Here it is. This is our, our very own house. <laughs> oh, we're so excited. Me too. Did you believe we own a house? Um, no, <laughs> not really. Shall we give the people a tour? Let's give the people a tour. Tour us. So as we discussed, we're gonna be doing some major renovations here. So one of our projects will be what's going on over here, which is not great. What is going on <laughs> over here? Them, yeah. All right, this is, I wanna just take these sheets down because I feel like the sheets are worse than, there was some like, shiplap on this wall that they decided they didn't like so they took it out so there's nothing on this wall windows i yeah. love this like okay i don't know how to open it but, oops all right first thing. <laughs> this is breaking our house already but this thing is pretty cool you know what bo would say imagine cats you know just 14 cats, cats. Four cats. just imagine cats, cats, 14 cats, cats. <laughs> dude when we have cats they're gonna be so happy <laughs> sitting right here the kitchen. We have a dishwasher. <laughs> I love dishwashers. The pantry space is absolutely baller. And then this is another pantry, but don't get too excited because this one's probably not going to stay. I'm also going to open this blind more gently than the other one. Our plan here, it's obviously going to be a lot of work, is to knock out this whole wall. Bye bye wall. And have an island. Hello island. <laughs> <laughs> one of those. Sap transitions, except by the time we edit this video, it will still look exactly like this. <laughs> and then we will have a bar on the other side of this. It will all be open. It will be gorgeous. Of course, we have to figure out if the whole house is going to fall down if we take out this wall. But that's, that's step two. All right, this is our kitchen table. All right, the deck is dope. Gonna have a grill out here. We're gonna have an outdoor kitchen out gonna here. Gonna have, yeah, Eventually. we might expand the deck. Guest bedroom. And then Dean left us all of this furniture. Because we have no furniture. As we discussed, as discussed, we don't own any furniture. A bathroom. Guest bathroom. Sounds like the heat is on in here. Master bedroom. We have a walk-in closet. We have a closet. Which is awesome. It's huge. If you turn the heat on, we might as well open this up and let the natural light in from the sunroom. Open the windows on the open. Oh, wow, yeah. Yep. So this is sort of like our heat producing thing in the house. Yeah, this is a really cool room. Ooh, we need a vacuum cleaner in here. Stat! Now we descend into the dungeon. Dum, dum. We are actually extremely excited about. 
So we're gonna start with the basement apartment. Basement apartment. There's like this is properly creepy that spider webs everywhere. <laughs> going to be the apartment. The acoustics are going to be bad in here. So this will be a guest suite. This is also probably where we're gonna sleep tonight because this is the only bed. All right, and then <laughs> the bathroom. This toilet does not work. No, it's, it's not, not connected. The ground. This yeah. is a new tub that they had just got. We're not sure we're gonna keep the tub. Yeah, we aren't really tub people. We're not tub people. This I just realized there's a vanity for this. There's a window. Oh, excellent. I didn't know there was a window there. This is gonna be a nice room, I think. This is gonna be like the the hangout room. This is hilarious. We didn't know this was here, that there was a stove in here because it was so covered in stuff when we toured the house. So we had no idea this was there. That works. I don't know, at some point we'll have to investigate all these boxes, but we want to take you guys into the space that is pretty much the reason that we decided to buy this house, <laughs> which is the garage. A super dope garage. Oh, it's so cool and ginormous. Yeah. So we have a big project in front of us of deciding how we are going to set up this space. Yeah. But yeah, if we ever need to do like heavy car work on the rock melon, we have a winch, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. This is what used to be upstairs, the washer dryer. That's why we have a dope pantry, is because they put them down here instead. Uh, we're really excited. Great. There's a utility sink down here. Which yeah. Is great. It works. We're gonna like store our water bottles here, have like a water bottle drying rack, have our scratch lab stuff down here so that we're gonna ride. There's another trash can here. I didn't know houses came with so much stuff. Like we got a hose. That, I think that's not normal. We'll be taking a short break for the holidays to focus on renovating our new home. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next video. It's safe to say we dove into our renovations head first. The difference that has been made in three days, two and a half days is shocking. Why do you look so happy? Because I'm gonna take an ax and I'm gonna slug this wall right <laughs> in the middle of it. And if you want weekly tours to see how the project is going, join us on Patreon. Until next time, don't forget to be more awesome. Thank you.